y'all what up i destiny here so today i am doing a truthful youtuber tag as well as get ready with me i think this is possibly like my first get ready with me i don't know i tried to do this video i think it was uh two days ago and um the filming was amazing my outfit was cute i don't even know where that top went um and the sound was just off for some reason so i'm redoing it again today so let me go ahead and jump into it um question number one have you ever received a product tried it didn't like it and then decided not to review it yes so actually pretty recently um i received i don't even want to name the product but i received um a certain wellness product from a brand and it was very similar to another product that I had reviewed on this channel. So they were kind of like looking for me uh, to review it. So I've just uh, spritzed my face a little bit with water. Um, just gave my, my, I washed my face in the restroom and then I just kind of spritzed it down to kind of dampen it a little bit. Um, and then I'm going to go in with my, and then I'm going to go in with my uh, Andalou Naturals coconut, uh, coconut water firming toner. Love this stuff. And then I'm just going to pat it, ooh, into the skin. They sent me the product and um, there was no strings attached. It wasn't like if I received the product, I have to review it or anything like that. They just sent it to me and asked for my feedback, kind of in hopes that I would review it. And so I tried it and I was kind of like, oh girl, like we, we can't, we can't. <laughs> um, that feels good. But anyways, I tried it and it was kind of like a, I don't think I like this. So I kind of, I emailed them back. I gave them my feedback and was like, hey, I don't know if it's me, if I'm doing, uh, putting the product together wrong. I don't know what it is, if I'm adding it to the right stuff. So they contacted me back with a little bit more instructions and I tried it and was just like, it's a no, it's a no. So um, yeah, I have received product and then uh, decided not to review it. And initially when I got it, I was really excited because I always love getting free product on here. That way I can review new stuff for you guys, um, have some more video content. Like it's always great anytime somebody sends me stuff because uh, the first thing in my mind is to review it for you guys, but it was just, it was a no. Um, so number two, product you use alone, but don't show or use online. No. Uh, Usually whatever I use in my videos you guys see, um, I'm gonna go in with the Goddess Garden uh, SPF 30, SPF 30 uh, sunscreen, that's what it is, sunscreen, not lotion, sunscreen. Um, and I'm gonna add a drop of my Trader Joe's uh, Rose Facial Oil. No, I mean the only products that I use that you guys don't see, um, pretty much like my makeup stuff because this is not a makeup channel, like this is my uh, skincare self-help, very like natural LA kind of lifestyle. Ooh, I put on a little too much. Put some of this on my arms. Um, so yeah, the only products that I use um, that you guys don't see a lot of the time is my makeup products. So you guys are actually gonna see a few of that today because I'm getting ready for my day and you guys are getting ready with me. Um, number three, product you want but won't buy because you don't support the brand. Actually, okay, so previously I, I don't think I had ever really run into this issue until recently. There was a makeup brand that I had gotten in my Ipsy bag and I had normally loved getting their stuff. I thought their, the quality of their products was really great. But when um, I started just noticing uh, something more and more that their packaging would represent, they had men of color and they had women of very, very fair, fair, fair shades. And I think like maybe going to like very, very light Hispanic on their packaging, but you never saw anybody of my complexion or darker, which is really weird because they had men on their packaging that were of all varying shades and races and everything like that. So I was just kind of like, okay, do you? And I was like, maybe it's just me, maybe I'm just bugging. So I went online and started Googling their products and scrolling through and I was like, no, for real, for real. Like they really don't have any women of color on their packaging hmm some of you might know what brand I'm talking about but um, I'm not gonna put them on blast I'm not gonna put it out there and be all salty and whatnot but I mean just recently I was kind of like you know what I don't think I can go forth and support this brand unless um, I see somebody looking a little bit like me or maybe even a little bit more tan because I'm very fair-skinned for uh, a black mixed woman so um, I was kind of looking for a little bit more of that so that was kind of my first um, situation like that uh, number four, do you have any blocked words? Oh my gosh, girl, I have ton. I have ton, 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 ton. Okay, I'm gonna put on, um, oh, she forgot to put on her essence. Let me just try to just add a little bit of this in here. See, I was all distracted. This is my first get ready with me, so I'm all distracted trying to read the questions and everything. Um, but let me just add on a little bit of my 
essence and this is the uh time revolution essence by misha as y'all know that's been one of my tried and true since day one okay there we go this stuff is what gives me that nice that nice day glow oh my gosh but i have tons of blocked words as you can imagine being a woman of color there are tons and tons and tons of words that are blocked on my channel just because I feel like if you can't express yourself and express your point of view, describe it to me without using a whole bunch of uh, profanity and um, derogatory terms, then you really don't need to be on my channel <laughs> because I'm all about positivity. Um, I'm all about good vibes. I'm all about people supporting each other. I've said this like multiple times on this channel, but this is something where I want it to kind of be like a self-help group where we just talk to each other, encourage each other, lift each other up. And um, there's no problem if you have a differing opinion at all in any way, shape or form. I encourage that. There's been people that have totally come for me and they're very eloquent and they don't use derogatory terms and they're just really like hitting in on me like, hey, blah, 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 blah. This is my point A, B, C, D. That's fine. I love that we can debate and go back and forth, but you are not gonna be talking to me crazy and being disrespectful to me, my subscribers and the other people in the comments who are just here to kind of have a good time or maybe learn something. So yes, I do have a lot of block terms. Um, five, do you delete comments? If so, why? Um, I think I deleted my first comment for like the first time ever, uh, yesterday. Oh no, no, I didn't even, I didn't even delete the comment. I just, um, I think I just, what did I do? Um, I think I just had it. So like the, that specific user, whenever they comment, their comments aren't seen. So I guess it's kind of like deleting a comment. Um, but I'm going to go in with my Fenty matchstick trio. Um, sorry if you guys can't see, I'm going to put my compact. I'm going to try. I'm going to try to keep my compact on this side of the camera. That way, um, it's not all in y'all way. But yeah, for, for the first time ever yesterday, and that's because they really didn't have to be disrespectful the way that they were, but, um, and I feel like I, I don't have to, uh, delete a lot of comments or really any for the most part, as well as, um, I'm going to go with caramel underneath my eyes because she looks a little tired today because honestly, YouTube does an amazing job for me. For those of you that don't just watch my videos, but have YouTube channels as well, Google and YouTube do an amazing job of like filtering, filtering out the content for you. So if they see anybody in there trying to be spammy or trying to be disrespectful, they will get them. So, um, a lot of times I'll, I'll jump on my YouTube channel and I'll go and you know how they have like the three tabs, there's like comments and then there's ones that are like flagged as like potentially, uh, bad comments. And then there's ones that are just like, they just completely removed them from the page. So I'll go through those tabs and I'm like, oh wow, like they really got everything. And some of the stuff I'm like, actually this wasn't too bad. And I'll actually add it back in. So there's definitely been way more of those comments than there have of uh, comments that I've uh, like flagged like a spammer and stuff like that. So um, number seven, have you ever lied about a product and stay on, to stay on good terms with the brand? No. No, 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 no. And as y'all know that I've been uh, watching my channel for a minute, you already know what the T is because there was a brand that I had reviewed many, many eons ago. They recently decided that they wanted to send me some stuff and work with me and whatnot. And I was not a fan of the product. And you guys can kind of see that live in the video. This is the uh, Trestique highlighter in uh, Maldives, I believe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Maldives. Oh, this is bomb. Like. If y'all have never used a, yeah, uh, Maldives Luminescent. Um, if you guys have never used these highlight and uh, perfect multi-purpose sticks, oh my gosh, I love them. Um, but yeah, they had sent me some stuff, wanted me to review it, and I was like super excited at first initially, and then I got the products and I was just like, are you serious right now? <laughs> And you guys can kind of see that live in the in the video. So I'm not even gonna put them on blast like that. Um, so I'm just blending this in with my finger. Um, the hollows of my cheekbones. Uh, my concealer and my highlight. Just to get that day glow. Mm -mm. Just to get that day glow. Mm, she's looking a little snatched, a little highlighted already. Have you ever initially liked a product when you reviewed it and then changed your mind but didn't let the audience know or didn't let your audience know? No, actually, um, I feel like with some of the products that I've tried that I was um, a big fan of um, later on down the line, if the company comes out with another product that's similar and I review that one, I usually tell you guys like, oh, by the way, they had this other product, but now I like this one 
or now they have this product and maybe I'm not as happy with it as I was with the first one. Um, so you guys can see that a lot with the essential oil diffusers and stuff that I review. Um, there's been um, a couple of companies that I've, I've reviewed their products and they have like, you know, dozens uh, or, or not dozens, but uh, probably like 10 to 15 to 20 kind of like products that I've like gone through and reviewed and tried to do like the majority of them. So you guys can definitely see like I try to kind of catch you up and do a lot of compare and contrast. I have a lot of those essential oil diffuser videos. So um, yeah, I try to keep you guys up to date on those. And then also I feel like I've been on YouTube for a really long time. Well, not like super long time in comparison to like other big YouTubers, but I've been on here long enough where I have over 200 videos. So um, again, for those of you that have watched for a while, you guys know that I have dozens and dozens and dozens of reviews. So um, a lot of times, like there's products that I've tried in earlier videos that I don't even remember trying, and maybe it's like a sheet mask that I liked, but now it's like I'm on to bigger and better because you know she's been doing this for a while, she's got sk some skin in the game. Number nine, influencer you don't trust. Okay, so. I don't like to put people on blast or anything like that, but as you guys know, there is a specific YouTuber. This is the uh, Ofra highlighter. This thing is so bomb. I am so happy that I got it in my little uh, baggy thing. Um, this is the highlighter in Rodeo Drive. There's a, a, a specific YouTuber, as you guys know, in the beauty community who recently had quite an interesting launch where a lot of the product was looking real kind of like janky and whatnot so not that i want to put anybody on blast because i know those launches take a while to kind of like put together and whatnot but i was i didn't even buy the product and i was upset for a lot of y'all that went and it went ahead and bought it so um i know that youtuber came out with a video um apologizing for the quality Ooh. <laughs> apologizing for the quality and um packaging was off or you know there was some things that weren't mixed all the way in but I, I I don't know I just didn't really trust the video I was just kind of like girl at that point I think the damage was already done like people were already just it was over so that youtuber I do not trust for those of you who know what I'm talking about I mean it's kind of been like a big huge thing on YouTube for I want to say like the past couple weeks ever since the launch 10 influencer you trust the most so um as you guys know I love natural 85 and she's She's a real OG, you know, I feel like she's been holding it down since day one. Um, and she's one of those people like, she has a very kind of like, not necessarily animated face. Oh, by the way, this is the, what is this? This is the Benefit uh, Gimme Brow. But yeah, like Wit, she's always been like very, very honest and uh, straightforward with what she likes and what she doesn't like. And she's one of those YouTubers, if she finds something better, like she'll go back, she'll tell you she's very like, uh, clear about just everything that she reviews so I trust her and then another youtuber that I absolutely trust is a uh, shameless Maya and that is because this girl literally was living her best life on YouTube making money had an office had a bomb looking studio in uh, Santa Monica I believe and this girl lost everything like she had to lay off her team she had to lose her office she had to move out downsize she talks about how she went broke as a youtuber she did wasn't like trying to pretend like she was still living the lifestyle and still balling out like she talks about everything she lost her boyfriend like girl everything didn't happen to, to this woman and then she talks to you about like how she tried to rebuild her wealth and everything like that so it's like this girl really has nothing to hide she's always been upfront and honest on youtube i actually got a chance to meet her in person at one of her events and she was just like so dope so down to earth so just like straightforward and honest and i was like this girl really is not bsing us or trying to finesse us like she's the real deal so those two youtubers i would say i trust the most but that's just my opinion there's a bunch of other youtubers that i watch that i would i trust as well but those are the first two that come to mind um number 11 secret tips or product application you don't show while on camera well this is the first time you guys are seeing me do my makeup that i do for my videos so this is a first i don't know if this is ever gonna happen again but um other than that no like I feel like this is a channel where I really want you guys to see what I do and learn how I get my skin the way that I get it so um, I feel like I should show that and if you're not showing people things that you're doing that are helping you then what is the point of you being on YouTube you trying to be stingy you trying to hold back I, like I don't really understand why people be doing stuff like that but that's just me uh, next is my NYX blush in cinnamon Okay, I've had this thing for forever, and this thing is 
so packed with color. I am still not anywhere near the bottom yet. Oh, have you ever used one product but we're actually using another? Um, no. <laughs> I mean, I feel like that's something that happens a lot maybe like in the in the makeup community, but no, if I'm using something on my face, I want y'all to know what the heck I'm using. Even if it's a dollar, even if it's $30, whatever it is. And I try to be more on the budget side, but even if I decide to branch out and do something or use a product that's more expensive, I still try to show y'all because that's the, that's the true tea. That's what this channel is about. Like I want y'all to get your skincare game together, which is why you should subscribe to my channel. Um, number 13, have you ever, have you ever not disclosed a sponsorship? No. And as you guys know, I actually, like me being a smaller YouTuber, I feel like I'm very excited about that. I feel like bigger YouTubers are very scared to sometimes say that it's sponsored, even though it's like you're required to say it now, just because they think like, you know, as big YouTubers, a lot of people are more skeptical of them. Like, oh, are you really just trying to get our coin? Like, really, what's the true tea? Um, for me, no. Like, I let you guys know up front. I even let you guys know if it's like free product that I received or maybe there was no contract and I just decided to review it um, just because I wanted to. Um, I even tell you guys like, hey, the brand sent me this. I was really excited, blah, blah, blah. And um, so I'll either say it in the video or I'll put it below or like if I have my um, affiliate links um, in my description. I don't know if you guys know this, but if you scroll through, I have like so much information. I have uh, affiliate links, I have uh, videos, I have playlists, I have a bunch of stuff in there, but it always says, uh, you know, I have my little affiliate disclosure in there as well. So uh, no, like I feel like that's something that people should be excited about. Like if you are a small YouTuber and you are getting sponsorships, let people know like this brand sponsored me, sponsored hashtag whatever, but no, I've never not disclosed. I just think, for what? For what? Have you guys ever seen that uh, Eartha Kit? For what? For what? For what? 14, have you ever had a bad interaction with a brand? Yes, oh my gosh, like, um, I feel like this is something that's more recent as I've been, as I keep adding on more blush, I feel like this is something that's been um, more recent. Um, but this brand wanted to send me some stuff and uh, I was like, okay, cool. We ended up collaborating and doing a video and whatnot. And then um, like they just had all these expectations of like how many clicks they wanted on the video and how many people they wanted uh, viewing their product like from my link and all this kind of stuff and they just kept emailing me over and over again like hey we actually want to get to this number can you keep pushing the video can you keep promoting it and this and that which I was like okay no problem I understand like maybe the numbers are low whatever so I kept pushing the video but it's like they kept contacting me over and over and over again and it's just kind of like okay well I held up my end of the bargain you wanted me to make the video you wanted me to post on these social media things the day of put the link here put the link. like I get that but it gets to a certain point where it's kind of like okay I did all of this is your team gonna push the video as well are you guys gonna share it are you guys gonna retweet my stuff like or is it just me doing all the legwork for you because if that's the case like I can get a check it's not gonna be no trade for trade I can get a check and be an employee but um, I don't see my name on the payroll for all that 15 have you ever bandwagoned with other people's thoughts on a particular product? You know what? Okay, so I feel like the first time ever, ever, ever of me like bandwagoning and being like all excited and whatnot. Um, oh girl, I realized that the lip gloss and stuff that I wanted to use was in my purse. So I'm gonna go ahead with the, uh, what is this? Uh, the Sprouts Green Tea Mandarin Lip Balm. Okay, so initially, uh, well, I mean, I'm not really like a bandwagoner just because I feel like in the skincare realm, there's so many different products. And I feel like a lot of the stuff that a lot of us kind of skincare people end up reviewing is all like, all it's all over the map. Like there's a lot of people in the high end skincare realm. And I'm like down here kind of like in that mid range. And then there's a lot of people that review just like more dollar store brand skincare stuff. So we're really kind of all over the map. But I will say when the Fenty makeup line dropped and everybody was talking about it, I was like, I have to get this. I have to get this but honestly I feel like I was bandwagoning because of the fact that with my skin complexion me being a mixed woman it's very difficult for me to find foundations and for the longest time the only foundation I could find that had my exact skin tone shade was uh, the Milani one I've used it before on this channel um, or I've mentioned it before on this channel but it was uh, some Milani foundation in the shade of tan and that was like my specific like summer color. So the rest of the year, um, that wasn't like the dead of summer, it was like way too dark for me. 
And so I had to go to Fenty and they ended up having my shade. And that's when I fell in love with the matchsticks and I was bandwagon. I was like, this is bomb, but it ended up being bomb. And as you guys can see, like I'm still using it years later. I bought these um, maybe a month after her launch and I'm still using them to this day. So that just shows you like, I'm glad I bandwagon on that and spent the quaint because normally when they do makeup launches, I'm like, nah, whatever. I don't really wear makeup like that. I just do my little natural, you know, glow, glow. Here we go. Um, but this, I was so glad that I got it. All right. And number 16 things, other creators do that get on your nerves. Okay. So I don't know if y'all are part of the vlogosphere. Um, I love watching vlogs. Oh, this is the, uh, buxom lip gloss in uh, Claire. I love watching vlogs, but the thing that really kind of kills me is when uh, vloggers, like I, I feel like sometimes they get a little too, too full of themselves and they're literally sitting there vlogging like their entire freaking day. Like the video was super, super long, which I don't mind if it's interesting, but give me a storyline. Like give me a Casey Neistat. It has a beginning, it has a middle, it has an end. It has a bottom, it has a peak, and then it tapers off. Like there was a storyline. You feel like you learned something. You feel like there, you know, like almost like it was a movie or a TV show or something. Like there was an arc of a storyline. Like it was pre-planned. Give me something of that. If you're gonna record and vlog your entire day, cut it down and edit it. Don't just upload it. Like I'm tired to see people vlog and they're sitting on their couch with their homie and they're like, yeah, so we about to get Grubhub, about to get these wings uh, from Wingstop up the street and then we just gonna be kicking it today and then we might cruise around in the car and go to Walmart and blah, blah, blah. And then, uh, you know, I might stop by H&M and get me a new shirt. Oh my God, give me a beginning, middle and an end. Like, geez, cut it down. If you wanna say you're ordering food, great, order food. Cut to the delivery guy coming. Cut to you guys eating the wings. Cut to the next part of your day. Like, then they just be sitting on the couch like, oh yeah, so we just watching the game right now. And um, yeah, you know, uh, sh shout out your channel. What is your channel about? And then the person gets on, uh, well my channel is about, um, um, so I talk about shoes sometimes, but you know, then I'd be kicking it, but make sure you subscribe because it's, it's really, really good content. Is it, if you can't describe it, is it really? Like, is it, is it really? Like, I, I really be having questions for some of these people. I love vlogs. I love seeing people go about their day. I love learning um, about them and seeing their life, but you just really need to learn to edit down. Not everything is interesting. I mean, just cause it's you and you have like a good amount of subscribers doesn't mean that it's interesting. Like are people watching the video all the way through? Are they skipping around? Like wh what's happening exactly? Um, this is the Tetris Ipsy collab lip gloss. I love this stuff. It's so pretty. And I'm just going to put this on in the middle. And then I'm going to finish up with my uh, roller lash by benefit. See, initially when I got this mascara, I was like, eh, she's okay. But actually I think I kind of like it because it's not too heavy. All right, y'all, and this is the finished look. I'm giving y'all that natural dewy uh, summer glow, giving you that Namvo. You know, just that that little bit of extra, a little dewy, a little highlight, a little this, a little that. So thank you guys so much for watching my Get Ready With Me slash, slash truthful YouTuber tag. So make sure you guys subscribe for more and like this video if you want to see more. I'll be posting more as usual. Make sure to do yeah. well and be well, and I'll see y'all later. Bye. Yeah.